Right, in this video, ladies and gents, we're going to be looking at filters. Very, very easy, very useful tool. And uh, before I do that, let's get this section here ready. So I'm going to copy this. Just want to remind you, I know this is going to be a little bit tiring to hear from me, but I am not doing the write-up in between. I'm not doing the screenshots because I'm expecting you to do it to make sure that um, you're doing it yourself. If I was doing it uh, along with this, the one, the videos would be 10 times longer. And number two, um, most people will just end up copying exactly what I've done. Uh, and that's not the point. If you're just copying word for word, you're not really learning what you, need to, what you should be doing. The whole point of these videos, tutorials and this mock is to help you understand what it is that you're being asked to do so that you can then do it yourself in the real thing. So um, this one, as I said, is going to be all about filters. Oop. There we go. Um, so let's have a look. So we're going to come over here and it's a simple case of, I think the easiest way we would be uh, to yeah, select these areas here. You go all the way down to the bottom, up to the last uh, record, there we go, and then you go to data and you click on filter. And that is actually it, it's that easy. Now of course you'd screenshot this to show these filters, you can see these arrows here in these little, in these little grey cubes. And to show you how useful this is, if I go here for example, it shows you all the film names. Now if I want to just filter out uh, only the data show one particular film, I would click on select all here at the top so that they all get unticked or unchecked. There we go. And let's just say I want to see Annabelle, uh, the data for Annabelle. So click on that and press OK. It should then only show the Annabelle uh, data. Okay, so that makes it so much easier to work with that. So you can see, okay, okay, this is the Annabelle data. This is how many people came to who came to see. Now I don't have the exact numbers unless I obviously sit down and count it. But we obviously have um, a pivot table that tells us that somewhere. There we go. You can see it there. How much we made from that. Uh, but we don't obviously know how many people um, went to see that. So let's go back here. So what we could do is. Um, use this information in other ways so which we'll talk we'll talk about in the next uh, in the next uh, video or in the coming videos what i want you to do right now is though is as i said make these filters and try give it you know give it a go um pick some uh, a film from here make make some difference which one it is and um and let's see what it looks like okay uh, once you've got one as i said screenshot put it into that section so there you can show the difference you can see this is what uh, the data for Annabelle creation is or any other film doesn't make a difference um, Screenshot it in into here explain what you've done. So I've in included sorry um, Applied a filter tool to my spreadsheet um, Work worksheet. Sorry this worksheet the main worksheets. There it is the cinema uh, C Cineworld main data sheet this allows the user to uh, filter out uh, any data they don't need to see, uh, allowing them to be more specific with their uh, analysis. So as you can see here, this is only uh, all the data for one particular film. Um, and that way they can decide what needs to be done. Um, okay, so that needs to go in there. Off you go.